option suggests that we look at the skydiver so to get the skydiver we need to select this one okay this option and then if you want to see other visualization then you choose accordingly so since the question here is on speed as well as acceleration so i'll just toggle between this when needed okay so when i click play so just right after the skydiver jump out from the aeroplane so you were told to consider the initial acceleration and velocity so let's take a look so initially so let me let me do that again so initially the if you can see clearly uh, let me toggle to the world view so you, if you can see the initial velocity is zero and the acceleration is 9.81 okay downwards so that will settle the answer as a zero and g because they are taking the only the magnitudes so for question two they say the skydiver is now falling vertically the forces acting on the skydiver are so if you click on play you can see that the the forces are these two things here so if i click on the magnifying glass i can now see the skydiver point of view so the forces are obviously uh, weight and the drag so if i keep on falling and falling and falling you can see that the drag now is equal in magnitude to the weight and etc so the answer for question two will be then just drag force and weight okay for question three they say the skydiver falls to the air the speed increases and then the medium exerts a resistive force to the skydiver in the so this is obviously uh, the speed is down but the resistive force is up so therefore it's opposite direction to the motion which in the uh, this refers to the the drag force which is the drag force is upwards question four as the speed increases the drag force on the skydiver increases as you can see just now earlier on if i were to turn on the the world but it won't it won't show up so easily okay never mind i reset i choose the parachute man again and then i just play so the answer they are looking for is as the speed increases okay maybe it's more appropriate to show the speed or the velocity in this case so as the velocity increases this is still increasing even though it's increasing at the decreasing rate so it's still increasing actually what happened is the the drag force is increasing but eventually when the drag force balances the weight you will find that his the man is now falling at terminal velocity which is now negative 20 something 20 something 24 okay so if you toggle this to the speed you can see the other way uh, so you can see that it's also reaching a terminal speed but now at the velocity of neck of 24 because speed is just a magnitude okay question five as the speed increases the acceleration so as the speed increases so you can see just now when the man was falling in a parachute case okay so you can see you look at focus on this number acceleration so the acceleration actually was at first negative 9.81 the magnitude decreases to negative zero because of the presence of the drag force balancing the weight okay so number six the answer is after a while the acceleration of the skydiver becomes zero and the speed will not increase anymore this is because the skydiver has reached a terminal speed and this speed is called the terminal speed which of the following is the correct when the acceleration of the skydiver is zero so if the skydiver acceleration is zero so let me let me move to the point where the acceleration is zero okay so here the acceleration is zero okay so the drag force is uh, upwards 9.81 as well as the force of gravity is downwards 9.81 so the, the two forces balances 